this is the overview information when it started and what's the version and the cluster id and other information the security status safe mode status and configured capacity dfs status dfs used and live nodes dead nodes decommissioning nodes information This is live node information. It can show the data nodes in service down. Name node general status, name node storage, DFS storage information. In data nodes, you can see the in-service, down, decommissioned and other information. Number of data nodes. Here we have only one data node. So data node is directly available at 9864. The cluster ID, block pools, volume information. So there are some access port changes and uh, data node is available at 98, uh, it's not available at 9866. 9864 we can access the data nodes and these are the logs security logs and uh, for troubleshooting this help a lot this is data node log and if any errors are there it will display and this helps in troubleshooting This are all the logs captured. If some Java errors are there, it will show. We have name node logs, secondary name node logs. Back to data node. This is data node volume failures information. We don't have any as of now. Snapshot summary. This startup progress. It will show it will show the loading FS image information, loading edits, saving checkpoint and other information. There are utilities available. We can browse the file system. You can browse the DFS directories and files. We don't have any as of now. And we can create directory from here. We can upload files. This is logs what we have seen. These are the metrics.
the configuration We are going to touch this when you are going to tweak as per requirement of our project. This is process dump, thread dump. This dump again is helpful for troubleshooting. If any errors are there, it will show here. Thanks for watching.